Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. Um, of course, this makeup look will be featuring the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette. Yes, I don't know why I'm thinking about it. Anyway, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, it's I'm, I really enjoy all the colors that are on the palette, like the pop of colors. So that's what I'm trying to incorporate in the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe series that I want to do on my channel. And I really do enjoy the palette in general. Um, I do use it every week and I don't really wear makeup during the week because I'm in the military so I am in uniform and I'm rambling like why okay anyways let me just stop um yeah I hope you guys enjoy it this is what I came up with um it's a little bit dramatic but you know this you could use it on a date night or going to church I don't know <laughs> just use it for whatever I think that's it I hope you guys enjoy the video if you guys of course have any questions or comments please feel free to let me know and yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. So just getting right into it, guys. Um, of course, the first thing that I do is uh, use my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and prime my eyelids. Now I'm taking one of the eyeshadows. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but I'm taking that shadow to um, set the primer. And then going in with these, and all the shadows that I'm using will be listed down below. I am using the MAC um, 7, 217 uh brush and I don't know what I would, was doing before this brush because this brush is so awesome at blending and just packing on the product it's it's so awesome and I'm just using it to um, place the product and then blending it out and this is what I do um, with this shade several times I just pack on the product and then blend 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 I pack it on and then blend 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 again So then I'm going in with this next shade um, and initially I, I placed this one underneath the first transition shade and I was kind of thinking that I should have placed it on the top but it ended up just working out. Um, but yeah again I just pack on the product and just blend it out. I'm sorry if you guys can hear me breathing. Um, I know in my other videos I was breathing heavily on the uh, in the mic so my bad if you can hear me. Anyway, um, so the next thing I do is I use that MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot again just to like carve out the first uh, portion of the eye. What did I just say? I'm using it to, you know, just to prime it for the next sh uh, shade that I'm going to be using, which is the purpley one. Um, again, I don't know the name of it. I will list it in the description box. And then I'm just packing it on there with my finger. I just go back and forth with my finger to pack it on. And then um, I do blend it out. I do go in with a brush uh, just to put it closer to my lash line and then here I am just blending it out and I do this I go back and forth with this um, as well I pack it on and then just blend it out I pack it on and then blend it out And notice where I'm holding the brush. I'm holding it very close to the top, um, you know, closer to my eye. And this is just so I can get a better blend. Um, typically, I would hold it at the end, but since it's um, since I use that primer, it's a little bit more difficult to to blend, like just to make it a little bit more smooth.
And here I'm pointing at the actual at uh, the matte shade. I know it looks like I'm pointing at two of them, but I'm pointing at the matte. And this is I just use this for the outer corner of my eye and just to give it a little bit more of a smoke effect. So here I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and this is just to um, apply the um, glitter that I'm going to be using. And I could have stopped there. I really do like the way that the eye looks with just, um, you know, I could have just added a little bit more of the shadow and then just smoked it out a little bit more and then just stopped. But I added that glitter um, just to give it a little bit more of a bright effect. This is the MAC Glitter in Fuchsia. Then I just take off, you know, wipe away the excess um, glitter because you do get a lot of fallout. And then I'm just using that same purple shade underneath my eyelash, I mean my lash line on the bottom lash line. Just using a pencil brush to apply it and then I do go in and see if I could uh, blend it out and smoke it out a little bit more. So I'm using the NYX Wonder Pencil and this is just to open up my eye a little bit. Um, it, you just put it on your lower lash line and it, you know, makes you seem a little bit more awake, your eye a little bit more wide. And I see that I didn't wipe off the excess powder that I had on that poof when I was applying the, the NYX um, liner. So yeah, you could see that white cast. Then I'm going in with the Dose of Color, uh, Desi and Katie. <laughs> this is the best clip that I had. I was out of frame completely and this is the best one that I could find. Um, this is in the shade um, More Creamer Please and then I am topping it off with the over the top lip gloss. And I think I kind of like it without the lip gloss, but um, you know, it was my first time applying this. So I really, I mean, I liked it. So then I'm going in with the shade and then just adding the pop of color, not the pop of color, um, I'm adding the highlight in the inner corner of my eyes. And I, I noticed that it's a little easier to do with my finger as opposed to a brush. And so this is the finished look, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys have any comments or questions, please feel free to let me know. As always, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. And thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.